Okay, folks, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be quick. Yep, I know, I don't do quick videos. <laughs> A few of you saw my uh, resin and ice video uh, the other day and uh, a lot of people are asking kind of what's inside? <laughs> Is it still ice? Probably not, but then again, we don't know, do we? I mean, to be honest, what actually happened with that project kind of shouldn't have really happened anyway. It was weird to say the least. If you haven't seen that project yet, with me putting the ice into the resin. Check it out, link below. Well, first up, we knock up some epoxy resin. Right, there's our resin, folks. So now what we've got to do is leave that to set, or almost set as before. Uh, so I'll come back to this in about an hour and a half. Two hours later. Right, there's our ice, folks, all ready to go. All right, let's get some ice in. But look at this. Oh, now this is looking pretty, pretty crazy as very similar to the last one that we did uh, quite a few weeks back now. Okay, so for the purpose of this experiment, I've taken enough of this cup off. And yes, I should have used mold release, but I didn't. So it seems a shame, doesn't it, to kind of cut this open, but that is what we will be doing today, folks, is what's inside. Now I know a lot of you be thinking, well, Nick, it's pretty obvious what's inside, but maybe not. Is it gonna gush out with water or is the water already gone and we're just left with kind of like a hollow, the color is just kind of just made its way. <laughs> I've no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> In theory, the ice is not there anymore, is it? Come on, the ice is gone. It has to have gone. But we're obviously left with this resemblance and that does look really awesome. It kind of reminds me of a lava lamp. I guess we'll just see what we'll see, won't we? Now I'm pleased to announce that today's video is actually sponsored by Surfshark VPN. The reason why I'm so pleased is because I use these guys all the time and I'll tell you why. I went to Spain the other day and it landed right when I wanted to watch my favorite sports event. And this was being shown on Sky and unfortunately, if you're in Spain, you can't use your Sky account. But you can if you've got Surfshark. <laughs> One of the cool benefits of using Surfshark VPN is you can just connect up wherever you are in the world and you can watch your favorite programs on Sky, Netflix. And if I hadn't had Surfshark VPN, I would have missed it. A VPN is a virtual private network. Using a VPN is kind of like wearing pants. When you go outside, all the important stuff stays private and secure. In today's world, technology gets smarter, but so do people and hackers. And there's loads of hackers out there wanting to snoop around all your confidential and private stuff. But with Surfshark VPN encrypting your data, they can't see nada. Just another reason why I use Surfshark VPN. I don't want people stealing my stuff or looking at my private parts. Now Surfshark VPN have over 3,200 servers in 65 different countries. So no matter where you are, you'll easily find a secure server to jump onto. Now Surfshark is totally unlimited. And you can use it on as many devices as you like. Happy days. They've got 24 seven live customer support and a 30 day money back guarantee if needed, but probably not. And strictly no logs. Now that means nobody can know what you're doing online. Not even Surfshark. Ham! That was a shark. And as a special Black Friday deal, just for you, I've got you 83% off, plus four months extra free. All you gotta do folks is click on the link below in the description or head on over to surfshark.deals forward slash Nick Zemedi to grab your Black Friday bargain. Check it out, you won't regret it. Surfshark, 
dot deals forward slash Nick Zemedi. Right, back to it. Right, <laughs> let the truth be shown. Right, well that has made an absolute mess of my bandsaw and my blade is not gonna be happy about that. So here we go folks, this was, well, full of water from the ice, there we go. But actually it's left a pretty cool I mean, there's like lots of different holes, obviously, where the, uh, oh, look at that. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> the blue, look. So this was locked in here, see, locked in here. This would have been in here forever and ever. Oh, look, look at that. <laughs> that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I don't know where that's, how that's sort of suddenly formed now, but that is pretty weird. Um, but let's clean this up clean this up in here and stuff and get all this water out of here and dry it up a bit and see what we're left with. Because what we might be able to do now is fill these holes with some, some resin um, and then we might be able to then shape it up and make it into something pretty cool. So first of all, <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean this mess up right now. A few minutes later. Right, there we go folks. I've cleaned up my bandsaw and I've just cleaned these up a little bit just dried them through, but they're still a bit wet. They still got a little bit, as you can see in there, there's a bit of water in there. Oh, still dripping out. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean these up a little bit more on the, uh, on the sander, uh, and then I'm gonna whack these in the oven. What I am gonna do is chuck some of this in the hole. This, is actually bits of broken glass, colored broken glass that I picked up from eBag. Look at that. <laughs> so I've got various colors here. I've even got some silver and I've also got a bit of green, bogey green. Um, so I thought what we do is we will scatter some of this glass in here in some more resin uh, and then we will fuse this back together um, and then we'll put some more resin around the outside after that and see what we can make see if we can make something really quite funky with the glass inside the hole Right, I think that's about all we're gonna get in there for now. So we'll just leave those to dry and come back in the morning. Yeah.
Right, look at this, folks. This is looking juicy. <laughs> Bit of cleaning up to do. I've no idea what this is going to look like in here with all this glass, but I do reckon it is going to look pretty, pretty cool. But look at the mess. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. It's everywhere. And when I say it's messy, it's real messy. I actually really love the way that this piece just glows up with the light, like a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> well, I do hope that you enjoyed this one, folks. A little bit of a mixed bag, obviously from seeing what's inside, which kind of a few of you wanted to know, so I had to oblige. And then obviously I didn't want to just end it there, so we had to kind of make something. And adding in that glass 
was definitely worthwhile doing. It doesn't sand very well, I'll tell you that for something. Um, very difficult to sand, but luckily I didn't have to sand a lot of it, get it in together and made a nice, cool, kind of strange planet, kind of sphere looking alien. Well folks, I am not going to waffle on too much on this video. I did say that it was going to be a quick video. I'm going to try and keep to my word on that one. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please could you share this one for me? It would really help me out. And if you could leave a comment below and a like, that would be awesome. I do read everyone's comments. I might not get to reply to everyone, but I do read them all in bed and not know what I'm saying. Thanks to all my new members that have come over to this channel and joined the membership platform and I hope that you enjoyed the live stream that we did last week. Take care folks, have a fantastic week and I'll see you for the next one.